Natalie, thank you so much for joining us here today. Now, I understand that you're a researcher and conduct a lot of work on amphibians in Southeast Asia. Now, what would you say to encourage our young future explorers and scientists here in this auditorium? I think the most important thing is just to get out there into nature, uh, to listen, explore uh, and, and just be in nature. I grew up in a city in Sydney in Australia and it wasn't actually until I went to university that I spent, started spending time in the forest and that was when I really became passionate about the environment and understood uh, how much help it needed from us. Fantastic. So I think the message there is that everybody needs to get out there and involved. Shall we make the announcement? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, these are the nominees for the best journalistic work in the 11 to 15 age group category. I enjoy watching the birds fly freely in nature. I have the duty to protect the nature so that every living thing, such as the trees, flowers, and crabs, have a nice place to live on Earth. My mother nature is is a but it's cooler nature because every the bird every got color but birds like parrots so good I like to take photo with everybody we we in groups we take photos I we me and my best friends would take photos. We are but a small part in the world. Saving Mother Nature is our responsibility and we have to pay back for all that it has given to us. Nature inspires me because it makes me learn to appreciate things while it's still there. The air before was very clean and less pollutant was in the air so people grow much more healthily but now like like I say people grow very weak even though they're young in this picture all the lizards can see a glimpse of the forest behind the man-made wall we have erected However, with the increased loss in forests in the recent years due to human activities, animals are losing their habitat, making it hard for them to survive. The photograph I took is about a lizard and the reason why I took it is because in my usual life, I would try to avoid such animals as I felt they are very, very scary. However, when I do on the trip that day, I felt it was very interesting when I really took a close-up look at it. It was like I've never witnessed a lizard of this color and furthermore the tail was very long which I've never seen before. The butterfly may seem small and insignificant, but it is actually part of the long series of changes that eventually affects all of us. I think the coolest thing in Mother Nature is that everything is in deeply interrelated. Like in the food chains in biodiversity, one small change in a certain population can greatly affect another one. I think this butterfly can survive without the mangrove. People think that they can destroy Mother Nature without harming anything but animals, like this butterfly will be affected. My photograph can, uh, my photograph shows the beauty of what Mother Nature can provide uh, so that people will be more enthusiastic to uh, protect Mother Nature so that they can enjoy the beauty in the next few decades. And the best Journalistic Award, age 11 to 15, is Daryl Go from Clementi Town Secondary School. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Daryl Go. Now, Daryl, would you like to say a few words, maybe, about your piece? Uh, this picture, I've never expected that I would selected it among all the other pictures that I've taken on my trip. 
however with some recommendation from my teachers and as well as taking a closer look at the photograph, I realised that it was rather detailed, so therefore I chose it. And what does it mean to you to win this award today? Uh, I've never really won an award before, therefore winning this, uh, it's something very pleasant for me and I really enjoy it. Well congratulations, you definitely earned it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to Dalgo and of course to Dr. Rowley, thank you.